while public schools have guidelines provided by the Texas Education Agency, those guidelines don't necessarily have to be followed by private religious schools. So this summer has certainly been different than any other summer we've had as we are eager to have our students and our teachers back on campus and to do that as safely as possible. And while we don't have to follow the exact TEA guidelines, um, the expectation from the governor is that private schools will stay pretty close to them. We are concentrating on four major areas for safety, and that would be face coverings, social distancing, hygiene, and screening. So we will have two full-time nurses, both registered nurses on campus to help care for our community. And if someone shows symptoms during the school day, we have a safe and isolated place for them to go and be monitored. So we're working on three different possibilities. One is that everyone is on campus. One is that everyone is at home. Or there is a scenario like you described where half the kids are on campus one week and the other half are learning remotely and then the next week they switch. Our families count on us to provide a college preparatory community. There are two parts of that, both being college preparatory and a community that our mission calls us to be. And whether we're on campus or remotely, we're going to work as best we can to deliver that mission.